Hey everyone, welcome back to the hillside. Today we're going to talk about squash bugs in your garden. Now this is actually a pumpkin vine that I have growing outside of my fence here, but it is in the same family as uh, just general squash. So these, uh, these pests will very prone to attack young plants, especially flowering. That is the time that they are the most active. Uh, if your plants do survive into the fall, into the full season, they're typically not as big of a problem. However, with the early uh, growth here, this is actually late June, we've had a lot of rain. The pumpkin vines are running, they're very lush. This is the prime time you need to go out to your garden and start checking for squash bug eggs. So, okay, so exhibit A right here is actually on the top of this leaf. You can see these little brown things. Okay, if these things hatch, they are going to wreck your plants. So you have to do what has to be done. Just come in and squish them. Like I'm doing here, you can do that way. If you don't want to do that, you can use like some masking tape or duct tape, to the, uh, you know, wrapped around your hand as like a kind of a sticky substance to uh, let them adhere to. That you can take them off that way. So do check the tops of your plants. However, I do find it most common right here, right there. You see that on the bottom of these plants. Now they are these. Sorry, they are this little little clusters. They're always little clusters. They. Uh, they will multiply, they will get into your, to your squash vines, your pumpkin plants, etc., and they will wreak havoc. So during this time of the season, it's very critical. You get out there and you examine very, very closely to make sure that they are uh, not becoming a problem. So what can happen, some of the damage, and thankfully I don't really see any of the bugs right now, but here's some damage right here to some leaves. Uh, this is probably a little cluster I had hatched and did some damage right there. So the plant will be able to power through as long as the damage is minimal. You can spray with a, like a neem oil, some kind of organic sprays like that do tendency to have a, some effect to, uh, you know, help with these bugs. But I think the best thing to do is try to find natural predators of these guys and that by increasing you know, diversity and uh, different kinds of plants and pollinators, etc., you can actually, you know, bring in the bugs that are going to kill the bad bugs, right? So while you do need to stay on top of it manually removing these things, if you want your beautiful pumpkin vines and your squash plants not to be damaged, definitely, definitely, definitely take some time to look. I mean, it may be a while, it may be pretty obvious, like I showed you some of these, you may have to dig around. And pumpkin vines can get crazy, they can sprawl on for for feet upon feet, right? And looking at every single leaf may become a tedious thing, but if you've ever lost a uh, zucchini or a squash or a pumpkin to this pest, uh, you will know how important it is to actually stay on top of it and uh, control these guys before they become a problem. So that's just a quick helpful tip on identifying the squash bug, uh, methods to remove it, and some preventative measures you can take in your garden. I hope this was informative and helpful, and I do hope to see you next time here on the hillside for some more gardening advice, uh, plant tips, and just general all-around organic gardening things. Uh, do consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up, leave some comments, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.